Hello artists, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be giving you five ways to beautifully present your artwork on Instagram. One of the things I spoke about in a recent video, which was uh, five things you need to focus on as an artist, is presentation of your work and your practice. And um, one of the things I've studied on Instagram or looked at is how different artists present their artwork in different ways. So out of all of the different ways I've seen, I am practicing some of them right now on my own Instagram account, which you can follow if you're interested in seeing my artwork. But I'm gonna show you the five favorite ways that I have been using recently on my own account on how to present your artwork and your practice as an artist. I'm going to start with my number one favorite, which is giving the illusion that you have kind of framed your painting or put it somewhere very nice on a wall or within a gallery or something, which is simply search some high quality images or decent quality images of, uh, I guess, paintings presented in commercial galleries and stuff because obviously they're always very neatly presented in the white cube context and a lot of the time they have really nice frames around them so what you can do is drag it into photoshop or drag it into gimp that's a free software so you've got no excuses and cut out the uh, obviously the original painting but leave the frame so you've got the whole lighting situation of the wall you have the frame left and then you just plop your own painting in now, you might need to make a few small adjustments, obviously because of the dimensions of the frame might not be the same as your painting, but this is also easy. You can either just stretch or edit, or you know, just learn a little bit of tricks on some editing software to kind of change the dimensions of the frame. The next one I will call the house trick, which is my second favorite. Um, this is one I started doing recently, um, which actually makes sense from a business perspective as well, where this is where you give the illusion of a painting hanging in a space or a home without having to put any nails into the wall. This is, this is where the trick comes in. So if your parents are going to kill you um, or your landlord is going to kill you because of putting nails in the wall and trying to hang a painting up and take a picture, then you don't need to worry anymore. All you need is basic Photoshop or editing skills, basically. So what you do is, uh, here's some behind the scenes footage of me doing it with my dad. Um, you get a painting, you put it on the wall, you get someone to hold half of it, then you get that same person to keep the, or get someone else to come in and hold the other half while the first person disappears. So you basically got like a half and half um, image of two people on each side. And then obviously you just take the two print screens or shots of um, the people on different sides and merge i don't know how i'm explaining this but <laughs> you basically edit the people out with the two photos so you kind of split it down the middle so you obviously get rid of a person on one side and then in the other photo when that wall was blank then they become the blank wall and sometimes you have to make a little adjustment between the lighting because uh, unless you have a stable lighting setup sometimes daylight can change slightly and also the person standing on the side of the light source can also cast a shadow onto the uh, wall. But I really hope I, I explain that, but I'm sure the video footage of what I'm showing will make sense of uh, what I'm saying. Number three, hand poses. Ideally have nice hands for this. Um, I know that wasn't your choice, but <laughs> try not to get attacked by um, a cat before, um, I don't know, doing your hand poses. So for this one, all I do is I set up a nice clean table and wall, uh, start a video, and then I will just do different poses with my hand, trying to think about what looks nice as a composition. Um, this is one thing I realize people seem to really like hands on top of uh, doing work or like work in progress pictures. Um, but yeah, I think it has a uh, nice finish to it. Next one is a bit obvious, but it's surprising how many people don't really do it that well. Um, the detailed shots, you really need to have a nice balanced lighting. One thing I see about detailed shots sometimes is um, people have a weird lighting source where you get a weird kind of brightening in one corner or it's the light isn't flat enough. Um, or the camera is at an angle, so you're viewing the details at a weird angle, but you want, I mean, I would say you need flat light, nice shot taken above, 
and do a real post for this where you've got like four, five, six images. I tend to do three or four sometimes, just whatever, whatever you feel is necessary. But detailed posts are, are kind of showing details of the artwork is also a great way to um, give an idea or give a closer, intimate feel with your, with your post. I don't know, <laughs> I can't speak today. And finally, of course, um, I, I remember once reading about this, apparently if you are next to your artwork, your, your work is more likely to get an increase in likes. And I tested this recently by doing a decent uh, picture of myself with a couple of paintings. And it appears to be the case. It's the most engagement I've got in ages when it comes to Instagram. So um, do post a picture of yourself in your studio every now and again with your work. As I said, um, you want to keep it nice and clean, have some nice light. Ideally, you can either have a minimal setting where it presents your paintings very nicely, or you can go with the full kind of, uh, I guess, messy studio kind of feel, which people also seem to enjoy. Um, one thing is if you have long legs like mine, try and look up some poses beforehand on what to do with them because I am, I'm not the best at taking pictures of myself. So uh, I realized I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing with my legs when I was taking my first photo, but then in my second, I just decided to sit down on a chair next to my work. So um, there's that to think about too. But I hope this video has been helpful to those looking to, I guess, clean up their Instagram or starting to document their process in a more clean, professional way. Um, as, and as I always say, you know, you don't have to get everything perfect. It's just start practicing these things because uh, say for example, the pose one with me in my studio, it's something I haven't done too much. So the more I do it, I know I'll get faster at it. So the first few might not be like amazing, but then hopefully there are, uh, the quality just improves as you kind of practice and get used to doing different things. So yeah, go, go post on Instagram. Why are you here? You can also DM me and follow me on Instagram if you have any more comments or questions or put them into the comment section below. And as always, I wish you all the best with your artistic endeavors. And here is my awkward goodbye.